As Vice-Chancellor of the University of Surrey, I should like to extend to all of you who've graduated in 1996 my personal congratulations. This is a time to reflect uh, on your achievements and to take uh, pride in them, a pride in which I would like to share. It's also a time for you to reflect on all the help and support you've received from your family and friends and to acknowledge the part they've played in your success. The University of Surrey is one of the United Kingdom's leading technological and professional universities. It is in the top 15 of 150 higher education institutions. A lot of our success is built on our professional training scheme, which we have pioneered. Almost all of you will have been placed uh, outside the university for a year to gain experience. And when, when you come back to the university, you will find that you have benefited greatly from your time outside and that much of the course will take on a greater relevance uh, than ever before. Surrey is one of the country's leading technological uh, and scientific uh, universities and we excel not only in teaching but also in research. To give you just some examples, our Department of Management Studies uh, trains leaders for the hospitality and tourism industries which are to be found uh, worldwide. And of course our name is almost synonymous with satellites. Our Centre for Satellite Engineering Research and our Surrey Satellite Technology Limited uh, make us one of the few universities in this world who both design, build, launch and monitor satellites. We have no fewer than 12 satellites in orbit uh, at this stage. And then, of course, in the humanities, we also have centers of excellence, including uh, in our sociology and in our psychology department, where we have some of the country's leading experts carrying out research. Over 60% of our income at the University of Surrey comes from our own entrepreneurial efforts. Uh, one of the jewels in the crown of Surrey is our research park where we have some 75 uh, companies from multinationals to start-up units. And this uh, gives us the funding to allow us to carry out academic initiatives at a time when very few other universities in the land can afford to do so. We're very proud of our success uh, on the academic scene, but we're also very proud of the fact that Surrey is a warm, friendly, nice place to be with a very pleasant uh, campus and where there is a real collegial uh, spirit. We'd like to think that you're going to take away not just academic qualifications, but also very happy memories of your time at, at Guildford. When you leave us, please do uh, keep in touch. There are many ways we can both benefit uh, from this interaction. There are postgraduate courses here that you may wish to take. And of course, we're always very interested in your success in your career and to learn of how you're doing. May I wish you all the very best uh, for the, your future careers and every happiness and success.
Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, it's my very pleasant duty as Vice Chancellor to welcome all of you to the University of Surrey's degree conferment ceremony. This ceremony is being held to honour those who are graduating from the Faculty of Human Studies. And we are delighted that once again we're able to hold the ceremony in the splendid setting of Guildford Cathedral. This past year has been a busy and successful one, not only for the Human Studies faculty, but for the whole university. And as many of you will have noticed who are on the campus uh, today, there has been a tremendous amount of development uh, on the site, a sure sign of our confidence in, in the future. One of the new academic buildings, the Austin Pierce Building, is nearing completion and will be opened next month by His Royal Highness the Chancellor. And this building will provide 24-hour access to computing laboratories and offer state-of-the-art lecture theatre facilities. It will be a major teaching resource to be shared by all disciplines of the university. This new building will also house the Department of Linguistics and International Studies. The new sophisticated language laboratories and multimedia facilities will ensure that its students are able to learn in the most up-to-date environment. The use of such new technologies within the university is an example of the way these new developments are being used across all disciplines to enrich our teaching and learning. Collaborative work is particularly important within the university. One exciting example of such collaboration is a new joint venture between the School of Human Sciences and the School of Electronic Engineering, Information Technology and Mathematics. The project brings together two areas of world strength within the university and will establish the Centre for the Digital World. The Centre will study the design, use and influence of information in a world that is increasingly dominated by digital computers and telecommunications. Returning now to today's ceremony, I should like to offer my personal congratulations and the congratulations of my colleagues to all of you on whom the Pro-Chancellor will be conferring degrees. Your achievement is considerable and marks the culmination of a great deal of hard work and dedication on your part. I hope that the family, the friends, and supporters of graduates who are with us today particularly enjoy these celebrations. You are most welcome visitors uh, to the university. Finally, I trust that those graduating will keep in touch with the university and keep us informed about all of your future achievements. You will know that at Surrey we place a strong emphasis on educating the whole person. The skills and the abilities you have developed during your years here will be much in demand by employers and I have every confidence that you will be well qualified to make a considerable contribution to society and your chosen peoples. My colleagues, join me in wishing you every success in your future careers. Pro Chancellor, I now call upon the orator to proceed with the presentation to the Pro Chancellor of candidates for first degrees of the University of Surrey. <coughs> Pro Chancellor, I present candidates of the Faculty of Human Studies for first degrees of the University of Surrey. In the name and the authority of the University of Surrey, I confer on graduates present and graduates in absentia in, within the Faculty of Human Studies the first degrees of the University. Pro-Chancellor, representing the head of the Department of Economics, Professor Roberts. Pro-Chancellor, I present the candidates from the program in Business Economics with Computing for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Rania al -Kawaja. Gregory Bowyer Sidler. Nadia C. Brown. Daniel Peter Curtis. Mark Bruce Cusack. Mary Louise Davison.
Timothy Dearman. Stuart Christopher Edwards. Jason Frederick Leon Frost. Claire Louise Dash. Evgeny Lubomirov Gamov. Ahmed Fazal Hamid. Jonathan Robert Canahan Keith. Stuart John Kent. Malha Korda. Arunho Lohachai. Elena Maruli. John Murray. Jonathan Robert Page. Konstantinos Anahiotidis. Neil Richard Pierce. Konstantinos Pitas. Simon Rutland Shaw. Ian Gavin Albert Sims. Christopher Martin Smith. Richard Sock. Constantina Spanianis. Elaine Patricia White. Joanne Claire Willis. Program in Economics for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Ibrahim Abubakar. Leila Alizada. Deborah Elizabeth Barlow. Sukhbir Buparai. Lucia Della Iorio. David John Goodwin. Heiko Helmer. Ashley James Whittington Hicks. Andrew Holland. Lee Daniel Kelly. Michael David Linden. Jason Manopoulos. Ryan Paul McCarthy. Claire Elizabeth Mylock Smith.
Andrew Arthur Perry. Emma Hilly. Victoria Carol Pride. Sarah Jane Rebbin. David Philip Risley. Ian Kenneth Rouse. Matthew Anthony Small. Catherine Saffron Woodrow. This concludes the presentation for the Department of Economics. The head of the Department of Linguistic and International Studies, Professor Flott. Pro Chancellor, I present the candidates from the programs in French for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Susan Margaret Aitken. Matthew Richard Barrow. Nevin Ibrahim Bayouni. Selena Louise Bishop Goody. Charlene Millicent Braganza. Ian Robert Brownridge. Bruce John Chapman. Christopher Chung, Kinwa. Sophie Josephine Constable. Nicola Kirsten Fairbairn. Tanya Elizabeth Forsyth. Christina Gilman. Penelope Jane Gribble. Zia Adnan Haki. Nicholas Haley. <laughs> Kerry Ann Hancock. <coughs> Jennifer Claire Hardy. Rachel Louise Hyde. Aphrodite Kuru. Michael Adam Lambert. Catherine Helen Leach. Sarah Haley Long.
Paula Marie McNamara. Anthe Leah Manassa. Nicola Macaria. Guy Robert Hughes. Zoe Newell. Matthew James Pannell. Julianne Pascal. Claire Louise Perry. Lisa Ann Hector. Fenella Ruth Sawyer. Jennifer Ann Scott. Jane Yvonne Shepherd. Emma Jo Sims. Simon Ulick Smith. Despina Stilianides. Christina Thornbury. Trevor Henry Van. Elena Barnaba. Rosalind Mary Walker. Rachel Catherine Wignall. Carla Elizabeth Wire. Helen Claire Wright. Programs in German for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Mark Ash. Siobhan Louise Balfour. My Lane Ballman. Christopher Nicholas Layton. Saran Louise Bowles. Joanna Jane Bradshaw. Lee Clayton. Jacqueline Dawn Cocker. Neil Jurgen Kobahaus. Victoria Mary Dobbs. Sarah Ann Victoria Hansen. Andrew John Hartley.
when men hate on flesh. Alexander Thomas Howden. Damien Paul Humphrey. Carla Mary Jackson. Nadia Abu Kaya. Julie Vanessa Lawrence. Martina Charlotte Lee. Elena Lomas. Helen Louise Marsh. Sinead Catherine Herrera. Helen Sandra Pike. Colette Wendy Pinion. Annette Faye Wynn. Neil Kirsten Sudbury. Laura Jane Sykes. Adam Paul Tallamy. Marissa Claire Webb. Philip Paul Adrian Widget. Programs in Russian for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Philippa Susan Elizabeth Batts. Ruth Maria Burrell. Carolina Dorota Collins. Joanne Rachel Eid. <coughs> Alexis Paul Philip Jarrett. Zena Louise James. Peter John Keevel. Lisa Suzanne King. Francis Anne Lomas. Sikandila Nakubo. Sylvie Patel. Sarah Louise Pullen. Lee David Quinn. Sarah Mary Ross. Catherine Rosser. Louise Charlotte Sapata. Sarah Victoria Katerina Natasha Tora.
Louise Teresa Wayne. Christopher David West. Program in Linguistic and International Studies for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Marie Claire Lang. This concludes the presentation for the Department of Linguistic and International Studies. Mr. Davis. Pro Chancellor, I present the candidates from the program in psychology for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Richard Robert Allen. Michaela Berry. Peter Allen Bray. Gail Elizabeth Broadhurst. Lisa Jane Brown. Antonia Claire Haddington. Charlotte Elizabeth Sarah Clark. Emma Jane Colbert. Daryl Glynn Croft. Shelley Joanne Croft. Francis Angela Calvillo. Renato De Fazio. Jason Mitchell Demagalski. Catherine Louise Dudley. Kirsty Amanda Foster. Suzanne Kimberly French. Sharon Janice Giblin. Caroline Leslie Griffiths. Charlotte Diamant Han Peterson. Matthew Robert Hegarty. Sarah Jeffrey. Karen Lisa Jessup. Tracy Kidd. Natasha Jane Pitson. Katrina Langona. Amanda Catherine Lewis.
Sarah Joanne Rutherkin. Barbara Ann McCorkadale. Georgina Vivian McNeil. Susan Diane Nicolau. Bernadette Fika. Shona Myrie Pippon. Janice Allison Rhodes. Lindsay Samantha Shaw. Heather Elizabeth Simmons. Timothy James Simpson. Julia Rachel Smith. Victoria Louise Snellgrove. Gemma Claire Stenhouse. Catherine Elizabeth Sutton. Stephen Robert Wenner. <laughs> Karine Jean Whitewood. <laughs> Melanie Jane Woodward. Yvonne Elizabeth Young. This concludes the presentation for the Department of Psychology. the head of the Department of Sociology, Professor Arthur. Pro-Chancellor, I present the candidates from the programs in sociology for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Nicola Dawn Baldoff. Louise Claire Brackley. Ian Michael Braithwaite. Rebecca Jane Bullock. Angela Jane Cole. Lindsay Allison Cole. Holly Jane Davy. Dominic Anthony Earl. Julia Euxton. Avril June Evans.
Linda Fee. Julia Wendy Fletcher. Kim Louise Gardner. Caroline Zoe Howland. Jonathan Lewis Hughes. Anna Ruth Johnson. Damian Miguel Ferreira Jones. Stuart Jonathan Lingard. Vanessa Ann McCoo. Catherine Joanne Miles. Rachel Mary Murphy. Claire Nightingale. Nicola Louise Richards. Julie Maria Carol Saliba. Patrick John Stanley. Catherine Joanne Stevens. Nadine Elisa Taylor. Alison Elizabeth Tudor. Helen Traversa. Joanne Rebecca Watshot. Aaron Brian Witcher. Program in Applied Psychology and Sociology, offered jointly by the Departments of Psychology and Sociology for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Claire Louise Anderson. Sarah Catherine Batty. Stephen Cox. Susan Caroline Driscoll. Marie Louise Evans. James Anthony Brett Fruin. Madeleine Jane Gettys. Laura Jane Hawkins. <coughs> Elizabeth Ann Hay. Charlotte Rachel Hill. Sally Carolyn Jacks. Katie Jane Johnston.
Catherine Louise Lawrence. Heather Joy Mason. Julie Deirdre Moody Summers. Nicholas Charles Nicola. Caroline Alice Regan. Catherine Jane Sell. Rosemary Laura Simmons. Natalia Fornali. Program in Economics and Sociology, offered jointly by the Departments of Economics and Sociology for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Victoria Wendy Aylward. Isabel Ballaran. Samantha Lee Ann Birmingham. Christopher James Ruff. Diane Nicola Button. Geraint Kerry Evans. Simon Daniel Gordon. David William Hammond. Alexander Robert Knott. Hema Luchmeyer. Cheryl Claudia Rock. James Robert Vernon. This concludes the presentation for the Department of Sociology and for the Faculty of Human Studies. Ladies and gentlemen, as Pro-Chancellor of the University, I would like to offer my very warmest congratulations to all those on whom I have conferred degrees, degrees this afternoon. Your achievement is a result of a great deal of hard work. The University is proud of you, and you might perhaps be just a little proud of yourselves. You have every right to be so. We're delighted to see so many of your supporting team here today, notably, of course, parents who have been of such critical importance to achieving your presence in the cathedral today, and not only by the obvious fact that but for them it would have been quite difficult to get to the starting gate, but also very much for the support and encouragement which they have given to you over the past two decades. 
We have this morning at several points, this afternoon at several points, had applause for the new graduates. May I suggest that this would be a splendid opportunity for the new graduates, who I can dimly see at the end of the nave here, for the new graduates to join me in a brief applause for their long-suffering parents and friends. <laughs> I'm sure you would want me, on your behalf, also to thank the staff of the university who have had the onerous responsibility for your education and success. They may at times have seemed like slave drivers, but they've laboured hard and enthusiastically in what was most certainly a marvellous cause, you. Some of you will be returning to your homes overseas. I hope that you've enjoyed your time here, and I'm sure that the degree you've obtained will enable you to make an effective contribution towards your chosen career. We are very pleased to have had you here at Surrey, and I hope that the memories you take home with you are happy ones. The Faculty of Human Studies has continued to enhance its considerable reputation for breadth and excellence. The Department of Linguistics and International Studies has throughout the year displayed an innovative spirit as well as achieving a high profile research performance. The department has also pioneered sports scholarships for the university. And incidentally, I was told that to get a sports scholarship, you also need to be acceptable to the university academically in every other way too. But they've pioneered sports scholarships and the first intake of the scholars at postgraduate levels are now successfully completing their studies. Among the five Eastern European athletes, sponsored by the British Council and by Rank Xerox, two of them competed at the Olympic Games in Atlanta. The sports scholarship program is now well established at university level, and I believe it has a very bright future. The department has also won the prestigious Inner Valens Award in Paris, for its language learning courses prepared on CD-ROMs. I gather these are specific courses for European languages specialized in administration. I suppose administrators do have their own language and one needs to study it. <laughs> Selected from the 80 contestants, um, the CD-ROM ELSA, as it's called, was awarded the prize for its attractive and innovative approach to English for special purposes. In the area of research, the Sari Morphology Group was accorded exceptional recognition in the 1997 research assessment exercise for its work. In November last year, Professor Graham Bird, head of the Department of Economics, and visiting Professor Tony Kirk were invited to provide evidence to UK Treasury Select Committee that held an inquiry into the future role of the International Monetary Fund. Both professors are acknowledged international experts and at an earlier recommendation made in background papers for the Commonwealth Finance Minister's Conference in 94, now seems to be likely to be adopted as policy for the International Monetary Fund. Let's just hope that our Surrey economists got it right. <laughs> the Institute of Social Research, a new initiative of the Department of Sociology, will specialize in the application of state-of-the-art research methods to the problems of contemporary society, of which there are many. Surrey's Department of Sociology is, acknowledged, is the acknowledged UK leader in social research methodology, an accolade confirmed by its five rating in the recent research assessment exercise. The Institute will be able to draw on the expertise of the country's leading social research methodologists in tackling problems of crime, healthcare, ageing, social values, and the environment. These are just some of the examples of the types of activities which have led to the high reputation of the Faculty of Human Studies 
not least in the area of research. Finally, Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to reiterate my very warm congratulations to you all. You have made a memorable contribution to the life of your university during your time here, and I hope that your future careers will be of the greatest challenge, the greatest fulfillment, and the greatest reward. I now declare this ceremony for the conferment of degrees ended.
your finger in front of my toes. Oh, here we've got a video camera on the go, eh? Yeah, there. Enjoy the silly crying that Spits. Straight to fair enough. Yeah. Right. Do get extra credits? Thank <laughs> you. 